Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. So this is another vlog and the morning has just started, the day has just started and you can see the sky is about to get clear. It has rained all night. Uh, but for now we can go outdoors, you can see some of the clothes are drying here as well. That's not the main thing of course and today I'm going to be exercising first of all before I'll take my bath and all stuff like that so today I'll be exercising outdoors and I love to exercise outdoors mostly because uh, you get connected with the soil and uh, also I'd like to share one crucial thing is that uh, being a human you must be connected to five elements of your life that makes your life uh, pretty lively as you might say those are air water earth amber and fire well, you don't have to put yourself into fire when i say fire because uh, fire here regular uh, generally means sunshine and that's provided by that guy over there and water you know what it is <coughs> and land mostly you can see by barefoot if you walk even a few distance a few steps every day then it will be quite good for your health and uh, not only from the spiritual point of view but also from the evolutionary point of view it is said that a human uh, likes to live quite close to the jungle you might have noticed if you have hiked or travel anywhere with through the woods mostly you feel more lively because it's the biological coding or wiring as I should say so now I'll be doing my exercise okay so push-ups I know how much can I do let's start Three. This is good, about 30 push-ups. Let's try a handstand as well. <laughs> I used to be pretty good at it, but lack of practice, uh, unhealthy eating habits, unhealthy sleeping habits, has uh, caused a toll on me, but I have to, I have to improve on it as well. 30 push-ups not bad but I hope I can do more some plank as well I'll try that Done. I think I did about 40 seconds of plank. That's too good for now. So the one thing I like when I exercise outdoors is you feel a certain connection with the earth. When you exercise indoors, you're mostly pushing up the surface of your house. It's mostly cement and concrete. And no matter how much you push, you do not feel a connection. It feels quite hard. And uh, 
when it feels hard while you push it you can't pull yourself upwards as well but while we are in the soil the earth the touch of grass the smell of soil and since i've been mentioning a lot of times that it's raining a lot in here you can smell the moist smell of the soil as well i love that smell and there's a certain softness whenever you push the earth it tries to push you back so it feels quite good uh, in my previous videos i used to do some push-ups but i could only do that for about 10 times that two with too much difficulties of course but while i am doing it outdoors 30 is quite easy i used to go around 50s but not for now but i'll show soon these days so keep that things in mind five elements ambience amber that's the sky that's the space air water earth and fire which may sound like this so if you keep yourself intact with these five elements of your life then you are bound to be cheerful the body will feel lively don't ever succumb yourself inside a room for most of the times especially during the daytime and because it will lead to depression your mind starts acting in a funky way because i've been there and it feels comforting right the darkness but you've got to explore the light as well because your body needs that you are a part of this earth so stay tuned one of the other reasons that i hate to exercise indoors is this person what are you doing amani <laughs> she's running around she's a little person a little cute person amani say hi to the camera amani hi 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 Amani. Hi. Hi. Not interested. She's clearly not interested. She's in her own little world. Throwing gallons around, taking the plate, throwing fruits all around. She's a monster. Cute little monster. Ah, it's a new day. It's a new vlog. And today I'm going to get my training on RSA that's responsible service for alcohol and uh, after getting the training I'll be able to get a certificate uh, and with that certificate I can get casually or part-time employment opportunities uh, in the bars in the restaurant for or wherever it is where i can serve alcohol to the consumers so it's a pretty necessary certificate kind of so today i am going to Parramatta city uh, that's about it the RSA training center I'm reading the manuals I don't know how the training gonna happen but it's gonna be good okay you can see me now returning from the work and I'm inside an umbrella. The weather has gotten pretty bad today. It's raining. And I'm walking. Tukun, tukun, tukun. The day was pretty good. Uh, I got trained for 
RSA that's responsible service of alcohol and uh, at the end <laughs> they kind of conducted a demonstration a role play sort of thing which I failed which all of the uh, learners fail the teacher was quite disappointed but uh, you can't just emulate everything in one teaching or one day right most of us were nervous thank you and uh, yeah we got it done basically and according to the teacher I will receive that document at 6 p.m. today it's about 5 I guess now so I'm making this video pretty boring I will stop woohoo and uh, now I am checking out uh, my email for the interim certificate you can see that I have already received my RSA certificate alpha beta those guys are pretty cool and as you can see this is my RSA certificate yay now I'm I can walk at bars. I have a RSA certificate. Yay, yay.